<laughs> yeah, that sucks. All right, let me get a tampon then. Butthole. I feel like a bitch right now. What's going on, everybody? I'm Shauna, and you're watching Clot Ones, the show with painful periods and even more painful questions. A man of many names, you may know him as Mr. Butter, Daddy Aioli, or Lil Steamer. He's a rapper and internet sensation that's got fans and their mothers on the gravy train. Young Gravy joins us in the hot seat today. How's it going, Gravy? Thanks for having me. I'm, I'm doing all right. So we've got you hooked up to a menstrual cramp simulator. It's got 10 levels, and the questions will get harder as we go. What's going through your mind as you prepare to take on the gauntlet today? A lot of things are going through my mind. Um, but I've, I've spent a lot of time around women. I'm afraid. I'm okay. afraid, but I think, you know, I think I'll part through. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah. Can't be that bad. Yeah, we'll find out. I think we'll find out. We're about to find out. All right, level one, let's go. How you feeling? It's not bad. Feels like a massage. All right. I can do this. From Vanilla Ice to Jack Harlow, people love to hate white rappers. Oh, What makes nice. you think you're any different? I, less attractive than Jack Harlow, more attractive than Vanilla Ice. That's your thing, the middle. Yeah, cool Go ground. All right, yeah, we'll go up to level two. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, yep, I'm feeling it now. Your family's filled with doctors and scientists. Your mom, dad, brother, all heroes, saving lives. What made you want to put an end to your family's legacy in life-saving healthcare? Um, goodness. Let me put it this way. Is their disappointment hard for you? Or have you accepted the fact that you'll never be anything like the rest of the gravies and nothing you can do can change them? Uh, well, last name's actually not gravy. Um, Level three. Oh, we're going up, okay. <clears throat> All right. Aren't we both supposed to be doing this? Gravy. <sighs> Young Gravy, in your song, Coochie Anthem, you say, coochie, 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 I get coochie, I get coochie. Can you label this diagram of a vulva? Here you go, Gravy. A vulva. So One, start, start at the top. Start at the top? Yeah. Okay. Vag tip. I'd like to say. Close. Clitoral hood. Clitoral hood. Yeah. This is the, the clit. Your urethral opening. The pee-pee place. Sure, we'll accept that, yeah. Okay. And then what's to the right of that? That's the side of the coochie. Uh, the scientific term... Uh, Thigh. I, we've really fallen off, I will say. Have we? Entry hole. Vaginal opening. Fun cave. We have the labia on there somewhere. Don't worry, I, I, I think beyond this, like, I got it. Bottle. Don't I get like, <clears throat> can I get like a milk or something? Don't we have those? Yeah, can we fly in a beer for this piece of I'll take a beer. Here you go, Gravy. Hope this helps. Making us slip bad. So Gravy, nice you often tour with your DJ and longtime friend, Tip. Beyond music, he's known for his impressive wardrobe and stunning outfits, which Vogue writer Rachel Hahn has compared to the iconic looks of Prince. How does it feel knowing that by comparison, you look like a freshman frat pledge on his way to a Hawaiian t-shirt party? A frat. Oh, I grew my hair out. I've been wearing the chains. I've, I've been going for this Bee Gees look for, for years now. Bee Gees, that's what it is. I haven't heard the frat thing in a while. I just. Good to know that's what we're calling it. <sighs> All right, let's turn it up to six. And you know what? Can we fly in some blood? Some what? Blood. No, Here you bro, go, bro, bro. Bro. What the f dude? It happens sometimes. So Gravy, Ooh, you're right. notably friends with Martha Stewart. You yep. even said in interviews that Martha Stewart is the embodiment of everything Gravy. Yeah. How much money do you owe the IRS? Look what you did to this parody. Uh, how much money do you owe the IRS? Was the question. I pay my taxes. Just check it. So this is a, a realistic period? Yeah, this is exactly what it's like. All right, let me get a tampon then. Let me get a tampon. Great idea. Can we fly in this guy some tampons? Here you go, Gravy. Thanks, brother. No worries. What do I do with this? Uh, put it, yes, perfect. All right, level eight. <coughs> All right. <coughs> yeah, 
sucks. Yeah, you feel Ooh. it, yeah. All right, Gravy, we have a reoccurring segment in our show, help yourself, we have a reoccurring segment in our show called Try to explain that, where we do a deep dive on our guest's social media. Okay. And pull anything interesting that might need more context. Here we go. All right, first one. <clears throat> How do you get access to my Facebook? Public website. <clears throat> I couldn't tell you the reasoning, but um. Let's do the next one. Swagger. Yeah. I think it's just a early indication of my, my rap for. <clears throat> Good posts. Okay, nice. I feel like a bitch right now. I feel like being a bitch right now. That can happen, yeah. Do you want a Midol? Yeah. We're fresh out, sorry. Thanks. When we first asked you to come on the show, you thought the cramp simulator was supposed to mimic childbirth, true? Pregnancy, yeah. When we corrected you and said that it was actually for menstruation, you proceeded to ask, what is that? Is the reason you don't understand the concept of periods because you exclusively date women who are in or finished with menopause? Yeah. In one review of your latest album, Gasanova, a reviewer describes how you write as casual misogyny dripping from his lips like spittle and poor attempts at humor. Do you think that you agreeing to come on the show was a way for you to claim you're combating the misogynistic culture often viewed in rap music? it. I guess so. <clears throat> Happy to have you. <sighs> Happy to be here. All right, Gravy, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Yes, it is. Level 10, baby. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> So Gravy, you Sorry. okay? Yeah. So we like to do something a little special here special. for the last one. Okay. We call this the last cramp. Now, you don't have to, but if you're feeling up to it, you can take this one standing instead of lying down. Yeah. Stand, okay, oh. yeah. Just give me the out of here. Just, Gravy, what's the matter? That time of the month? <laughs> it's that time of the month. All right, one last question, then you're free to go. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> What's the worst thing you've ever done? Uh, there was this time where. Well, there you have it. Nothing left to do but roll the red carpet out for you, buddy. Ugh. This camera, this camera, this camera. Tell the people at home what you got going on. I'm a rapper. <coughs> I have a... And that's a wrap on day one of Young Gravy's period. Come back tomorrow when he'll tackle day two of seven. <coughs> he sneezed. Here you go, Gravy. Oh, uh, what the The whole experience. I get it. It hits, yeah. Mm -hmm.